guys, I'm here with a really casual subscription box roundup for the month of April. I just got the two boxes, I believe, in April. I got um, my Ipsy bag, actually, and my BoxyCharm box. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to continue on getting both of those. I know I've spoken about that before, but for now I'm going to keep at it for a little bit longer. I do enjoy them. And um, yeah, so I will link my unboxing videos below as I'm not going to talk about everything, but I wanted to touch on some of the products that I got. The first thing that I want to talk about is the Reveal 2 palette. It is a really nice palette. I actually don't mind that the pigmentation on every shade is not perfect. I think the shades are buildable, blendable. They're at a great price. I think that the palette would benefit from a mirror even if the price were to go up just a little bit I think a mirror in a palette is super handy and would make that like the only eye thing that you would need to travel with of course so that being said I absolutely think it's worth picking up if it's been something that you've been looking at if you don't have another palette that would do the job like the Naked 3 or maybe even the Lorac Unzipped they're sort of those same hues that being said, they're really nice palettes. I did go ahead and get rid of mine, so I don't have that to show you. I actually got rid of the Revealed 1 and 2. I am kind of working to declutter my house in general and my makeup especially. So if you guys want to see some of that stuff, let me know. I know I've mentioned that before, but I just, I'm just throwing it out there that that is something that I am up to. And then another thing that I don't have here to show you as well is the Ofra Shimmer Powder from the BoxyCharm box. It was definitely not up my alley. I actually haven't been super pleased with any of the Ofra products that I've gotten in the past. I've gotten a blush, and it was okay. That one is, is fine. The bronzer, I think, was a good bronzer. I just don't like shimmer in my bronzer. The eyeliners, I've gotten two, and I don't like those at all. So Ofra hasn't exactly been my favorite thing, but... I did go ahead and get rid of that shimmer powder. It was nice and it was a really good highlight. I've just had some oily skin lately and it wasn't anything that I was going to use so I did go ahead and pass that on. If you guys are curious what I do with some of the makeup that I'm getting rid of, I ask friends first and family first and that kind of thing. But then I've also been um, kind of poking around on the site. It's M uabs.com and I think it's Makeup Addicts Blog Sale is what the um, letters stand for. But you can buy there, you can sell there, and I've had really good luck. I've really enjoyed the people that I've worked with on both ends of transactions. I've both purchased on there and I've sold on there. So if you guys are curious, I have been doing that. So let's get into the things that I either have tried or, no, let's get into the, all the things that I have tried. The first thing is from my Ipsy bag. It's this blush in Tango by Hikari. I spoke about this in the unboxing. This is looking far more pink in this light. It is definitely a coral. I wish that I could do that more justice for you guys, but there is a swatch. And unfortunately, it is not what I am wearing today. It's a matte blush. It's gorgeous. The texture is great. If any of you guys got this, let me know what you think, but I love this for spring. I've worn the heck out of it. But I'm wearing something new today that I wanted to try out. I'm wearing the... Tarte blush in, no not Tarte, excuse me, I do have Tarte exposed, but I'm wearing Lorac in exposed. And then another thing that I um, got in my Ipsy bag is the new Dude. It is what I'm wearing just on my eyes today, just this. Um, this is an interesting shade. It is kind of a coppery, browny with some like purpley taupe. I'm not doing this justice. It is a really unique shade. It is gorgeous. I... Again, I'm not going to be able to do it justice, but if you get a chance to swatch this, it does kick up a little bit of powder. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have used, that's a pretty true swatch there, or pretty true image of it there. It is so pretty, and I love this as a one shadow. Put it on your lid, blend it out through the crease, you get a little bit of something. It is not terribly pigmented, but I think a lot of that has to do with just the, the almost like duochrome aspect of it, because... When you turn one way, it looks like one color, and another, it looks like another gorgeous shade. Really enjoy that. I don't think I'd buy the palette. I have the Nude Tude and the Balm Jovi, and I like those, and I did not get rid of those. If you guys want to see what palettes I did keep, let me know, because I have mostly gone through the palettes already. But anyway, I like the Balm Shadows a lot. I just don't feel like I need another of their palettes. It doesn't speak to me as a palette, but that particular shadow was so nice and I really like it. If you haven't checked out the Balm palettes, they're worth going into Kohl's and swatching, but anyway, 
Um, I also got this Mica Beauty eye primer. This is the one that I already had open and had used that I got in one or the other. And I don't like this. I feel like my shadows don't stay any better. In fact, I feel like it's worse. So this is a total fail for me. And the one that came in my Ipsy was all kinds of cracked and had like basically like a little bubble that had dried in it or whatever. Eh, pass. I also have this what is it called? What's oh, Mel Mullen and Sparrow Tinted Lip and Cheek Balm. Although I swear when I looked on the Ipsy website, they said this was a stain. This is all that I have on my lips right now. So that's pretty much my lip color because this is totally not worth your time or energy. I don't like the texture. I don't like the smell. It smells kind of medicinal with a side of really like cheap chocolate. I don't know. There it is. And that's super built up. It feels like Vaseline, which I don't care for. I don't mind a little slip on the lips. It's not sticky, which is nice, but I certainly wouldn't put this on my cheeks. Holy cow. Pass. Um, and then the last thing I think I want to talk about today is the Cool Way Smoothing Lotion that I got in my BoxyCharm. This does seem really nice. I've used it a little bit. I have naturally curly hair, so, you know, I need some smoothie. But I like it. It's fine. I don't think I'd repurchase it. I think there are plenty of things that I like from the drugstore that do a fine job, but it's fine. Let me smell it because I can't. All I can smell right now is that cheek stain. Yeah, it's not bad. It's I don't think remember it lingering, but you use such a small amount in your hair that, you know, that's that. Oh, and I want to talk about the bag. I love the bag, you guys. Usually I will give these away, give them to my daughter, give little gifts in them. But I think I'm keeping this one. I really like it. I think it's super cute. Especially this like, it's like a minty blue running through here. I don't know. I really like it. Anyways, what did you guys get in your subscriptions this month? What do you like? If you guys have a service that you think that I should try, maybe instead of one of these or in addition to, let me know what you think. Also, if you guys haven't already checked out makeupaddictsblogsale.com, so M-U-A-B-S.com. Check it out with caution, you guys, because it can get kind of addictive, but it's certainly fun to poke around. I've actually felt like I've controlled myself fairly well. It is mostly used makeup on there, so I don't know how you guys feel about that, but there we go. Have a fabulous day, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.